So I read this uh, article online that says that the Bureau of Immigration, I'm oh, sorry, the Bureau of Internal Revenue of the Philippines is going to file a case against the bloggers who are making millions of money from YouTube and other social media areas and they're not paying taxes. And that got me thinking that I should probably make a blog that relates to that, especially for this one, for the ones who have just seen the previous blog, 66 to 71, regarding the documentary about snail runners running from Alabang to Binyan uh, in the year 2019, just basically two years ago. So hey guys, my name is Paolo Martin and you're watching The Album Blogger. I just want you to, to I just want to tell my story as to why I blog and why that that article today just was like, okay, it hit. It really hit the, as to why I still do the things that I do. So here's the top two reasons why I blog and why is it called The Album Blogger. So the first reason is uh, it's just a form of art and most of my stuff that I wanted in high school, wanted I just wanted my artwork to become realistic and I wanted them to have some sort of life to it. And so I, I studied... Uh, Film, film in the University of Wales College, Newport in Wales. answer the question as to why I blog it's because it's art and it because it, it was some sort of for me to have a sense of uh, a, a documentary type of thing wherein I can actually document the progress from me as a sub myself as a subject to where I am now so from blog 66 to 66 to 71 wherein I'm actually documenting about Snail Runner Salabang it was just pure documentation and artwork and it is something that I thought I should just preserve, which goes to my n next question is why is it called the album blogger? Well, the thing is, I'm sure a lot of you guys who are searching here in Alabang on YouTube or anywhere, the first thing you see is, oh my god, Alabang looks like Dubai. Or, oh my god, it's about real estate, people selling their big ass houses and everything, sorry, for swearing, but selling their houses and real estate. It's all, for me, nonsense because it doesn't show who we are in Montilupa, where I am as a person, and how do we normal people like live here in the Philippines. So the album blogger came, came out as an aspect of documenting my life here in the Philippines and this side of the fence here in Alabang. And it is one of the most, uh, it had, there's a lot of like notorious stuff, stories about Unfortunately, about the bad stuff like the drugs to the celebrity part of people, the Beverly Hills of the Philippines. But it's also about documenting the now. And I don't think it's not that people care about it. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's more like the, the content is about who the person is, who this, uh, what is the situation at the moment or back then, and something for us to look back on in the future. Because even though I'm sure in like the museum of Montilupa or anywhere, what is, what, how do you describe the people of Alabang? Well, I, do you have footage? Do you have actual documentation as to what life goes on in the Philippines? Especially for the ones who are ex, expatriates who are, or foreigners who are trying to figure out how the Philippines looks like. Do you have an idea as to what it is? And, the, and so I decided Alabang Blogger is something that can document life here in the Philippines, in this part of the world, and be able to say that there really is some, the, all the, what's it called, the bias, it's just all in your head. <laughs> and the word Alabang, it's not just, it's not class, it's just a word, it's just a name. And there's so many different areas, barangays, that you can see, especially in the last 66 to 71. Now, connecting that to what I said about the BIR, chasing these guys for taxes, I realized that's the whole point as to why I'm making this. I made this channel at, on YouTube. Actually, this has been here since 2006. It's just that I only started doing it spe uh, specifically for blogging 
because I realize it's just quality of and good content. I hope it's good content. I hope I'm not boring you, but it's not BS. It's not something that um, like something trending, and you won't you won't you'll forget it. I mean, after watching it, you just forget and go some somewhere else, right? But I can I can I'll tell you now. In the future, when you look back upon stories of how life was before the pandemic, during the pandemic, and hopefully after the, this pandemic ends, uh, you get to appreciate life was what life was like and what life is like in the Philippines as it happens, or as as soon as I'm publishing it, and so. I think the the whole point is, thank God I'm I'm not like monetizing my stuff. I mean, if, of course I only have like 284 view, subscribers right now, but the whole point is, try to only make uh, the good stories happen, and to look back and to why I even started in the first place is basically the reason why. It's, it was never about the cash. It was never about the money. I, I can do that with my Zumba instructor. I can do that with real estate. I can do that with earnings from the owners as an employee and other sideline jobs. But for me, YouTube and was never YouTube and social media, but basically YouTube was never meant to be a place for me to earn cash. So I hope you guys do subscribe to my channel to learn more about what the Philippines is like but also be able to really appreciate what life is like in the Philippines. So, why do I blog? Because it's artistic and I like documenting life. Want to call the album blogger? Well, it's easy because it's here side of the fence and I just want to tell you the story. If I was still in Jensen, it would be called the Jensen blogger. If I was still in Nigeria, it would be like the Filipino blogger or something like that. But that's the thing. I did not document my life in Nigeria, in Thailand, in India. Oh, sorry, we did. We just filmed it, but there's no narrative. There's no, there's no real reason why you're documenting something because you're just for the sake of document. You're just for the sake of filming it. What the difference with with, with this kind of uh, filming and documentary is that I get to tell you why it's important to me. I get to tell you exactly why it's relevant and why I have to publish it, and it takes time. And to conclude, well, I needed to. Uh -huh. I needed to just basically step back and think, hey, you know what? Quan quality versus quantity. I'd rather publish vlogs on my own standards and on my own on my own what's it called that word <laughs> level. <laughs> and to be able to say and to be able to say that you're not here to watch adverts. You're not here to watch. And being promoted for products you're here to just watch about what life is like in the philippines in the year 2021 august 24 at 8 16 pm all right thank you guys for watching uh do subscribe to the album blogger hit the click button whatever the click button is but definitely i just hope you guys enjoy it and you guys have a well stay safe and have a good journey with me at this channel thank you so much and i hope you guys to see you in the next vlogs, especially when this season three is ending, because this special, this season three is special. It's about snail runners, and I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, stay tuned. Present day with the album blogger. Trying to hide where you should be. 
go.